Oh, what's up, collective? How you guys feeling? How y'all doing? Welcome back, those of you that's returning. And welcome to Be True Tarot. If you are new and tapping in for the first time, I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares, subscribes, donations. I greatly appreciate it all. You guys are amazing. I love y'all. Let's get into your collective read for tonight. I hope you all had a beautiful day, a beautiful Wednesday. I hope you have an even better night. This is a general collective reading, so everything you hear may not necessarily be for you. Please use your discernment. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there, okay? All right. Let's get into it. Let's see what messages spirit has for y'all tonight. All right, collective. Let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective tonight? What is it that they need to know? This message is for my beautiful and handsome collective. What is it that they need to know? Allow me to see things clearly. Please cover shield. Protect me as I channel this energy. Also, block out any negative energies wanting to interfere with the accuracy of this message. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome divine collective out there? What is it that they need to know? Allow me to see things clearly. Show me what it is I need to see. Two more shovels. Last shovel coming out. My divine collective. Energy. Okay, we got a trap that showed itself. Let's see if that comes back out. But well, we got a trap at the bottom of the deck that just fell out. Let's see if it come back out. Okay. Homeless. Oh goodness. Okay. Mm, homeless. Donate an introvert in a reverse. okay in the reverse so somebody's not okay okay it's in the reverse somebody's not okay somebody here could be forced to speak to people when they really don't want to because now they're homeless somebody here could be praying right now asking for forgiveness because they either feel like they're about to be homeless or they are actually homeless. Poor catastrophe and failure. Okay. This could be from a married couple. A married couple is not okay. They have to withdraw from something. Okay. Yeah, because a curse didn't work. Somebody here has evidence. Somebody here, th this could have been, listen, y'all. Somebody here is not okay because they've been trying to curse y'all with poverty and homelessness. And it's not working. Now they actually feel like they're the ones that's going to be homeless. Somebody here is praying and asking for forgiveness, hoping that they won't be homeless. Okay. Like, somebody here could have been protesting against y'all. That's also in the reverse. Somebody here could have been trying to rob y'all. That's in the reverse. Somebody here could have been trying to stress y'all out. That's in the reverse. So, it didn't work. It didn't work. But now, this, this person is not okay. Or these people is not okay because they feel like they're the ones that's going to be in poverty now. They feel like they're the ones that's not going to... Um, they're the ones that's going to be homeless. Like somebody is actually praying now. Could be asking for forgiveness. So now they're praying and asking for forgiveness. But they were stubborn at one point. Wearing a mask. And was actually happy to coach someone on how to curse y'all. Somebody here didn't want to stop. Until you was gone. Like somebody here did not want to stop trying to curse you. Until you was actually gone. Or homeless. One or the other. 
down this person, these people are not okay because it's not working. Collective, whoever you are, somebody here got personal evidence that a curse didn't work. So you could be chilling. That could be the personal evidence. The fact that your ass is chilling. The fact that you're not homeless. The fact that you're still breathing. That's their personal evidence that some shit ain't work. You still here. You still up and in, up and moving. You still shucking and jiving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You still out here looking good. Somebody here is like, oh shit. Now they scared. I'm telling you, somebody is panicking now. Like somebody here is scared now. Because they like, well, we did this curse. We could have did, you know, they could have did this shit multiple times too. So it's like, we did this ceremony, we did this curse. Um, try to cause misfortune or catastrophe for this person that we hate. We wanted to cause them some sort of a failure. We wanted them to be poor. We wanted them to have a catastrophe in their life. We wanted them to be a castaway. It didn't work. So now these people praying, now they scared because they feel like that shit is going to come back around to them. It's like, oh shit, like what that mean? What that mean for us? Somebody here could even be feeling like very like anxious right now. I'm picking up on heavy breathing, anxiety. Somebody here is depressed, they paranoid. They hoping that their prayers will be heard and answered, you know. Somebody here could be trying to reverse some sort of death spell. I'm hearing, Lord, what? Somebody here is trying to re reverse a death spell because they sick now. Like somebody here done got sick and so now they scared. Somebody here done actually got sick and now they scared. Like this is what got them scared, the fact that somebody done got sick. This could be them that got sick. This could be a child that got sick. Somebody here done got sick, y'all. It says illness, disease, weakness, fragility. Somebody here done got sick. Whether it done hit them directly or hit a child, hit somebody close to them, somebody here is sick and they like, oh, we done fucked up. You know, like somebody here knows that that means that something not only did not work, but it's backfired. Like not only did it not work on you, that shit came back to them. Somebody here was committed to this shit. I'm telling you, somebody here was committed to this magic. Look at this shit. Somebody here was trying to control y'all. Trying to be your puppet master. That shit didn't work. It's in a reverse. Somebody here wanted to dictate and dominate your life. You could be somebody that's a fortune teller. Okay? But that was the goal. To separate you from your from your work. Okay? So, like, let's just say you do what I do, collective. Maybe you even have a public platform. Somebody here wanted you to stop doing that. Okay? Like, somebody here wanted you to stop doing that. Like, maybe somebody don't agree with what it is that you do for work. But my whole thing is... Mind your fucking business. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't doing nothing to you. It's not affecting you personally. Mind your fucking business. Like, I mean, it's just as simple as that. Collective, I'm sure you don't like how these people look or you don't like the shoes they wear. Maybe you don't like the shirt that you saw somebody have on the other day. You ain't going to attack them because you ain't like their shoes. You ain't going to attack them because you don't like motherfuckers that work for the post office. You ain't going to attack them because you don't like mailmen. Who gives a fuck? Who cares? Like this is this could be the reasoning behind this. Somebody here was minding your business. They found out that this is what you do. For some of you, you a reader. They don't like that. So they was like, okay, cool. We're gonna cause homelessness for this person. We gonna we gonna attack them, you know, and all this other shit. Bitch, is you crazy? These people gotta be fucking smoking crack. They gotta be crazy. God looking at these people like they a damn fool. Like they fools. These people was committed to doing this black magic. You worried about somebody pulling cards, but your ass out here doing death spells and poverty and sickness, homelessness spells? Are you fucking kidding me? But you but you pass a judgment about somebody pulling cards. These people don't lost their damn mind. It says committed to this black magic. Magic and ceremony. Yeah, they was committed to doing this ceremony. This magic on you collective that did not work, by the way. It, it's clear that it didn't work. Somebody here could actually be passing away. Somebody here is also scared that this person that's sick is not getting better and they may be on their way out. So somebody here knows that something has reversed. It's like, not only did someone pass away for some of these people, somebody here could even be sick and they feel like this person is on their way out. And this child could be sick. It's a child for some of them. It's a child. This is causing conflict between these people. Yeah. 
these people thought they was doing something good by doing this. Yeah, God don't God don't fuck with this. We got merit making in the reverse. This person, these people could be saying that it's um, you know, it's it's inhumane or it's not good. It's not morally correct for somebody to be a reader, motherfucker. It's not morally correct to be causing trying to cause illness, sickness, and death on somebody. Like, are these people like these people are crazy, y'all? These are mother these motherfuckers have lost their minds. And now it's causing conflict between them. So these people could have been friends at one point that was all doing this, but now these people are, are screaming, they fighting, they arguing, they cussing, they carrying on. It's some sort of dispute, some sort of quarrel, some sort of differences here between these people. Cause the shit backfiring is not working collective. Whoever you are, you chilling. This could even be a family that was doing this shit. You could have had a whole family attacking you, but we got family in the reverse. These people having issues here. They're not bonding anymore. It was all fun and games when they thought some shit was about to pop off in your life. When they thought that they could control you, could play God in your life. That's what these motherfuckers thought. They thought they could play God in your life. Now this family is having issues. Now they fighting amongst each other. That's what the fuck they get. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Shit is ridiculous. Yeah. Because of, because of what you do for work. Whoever you are, Rita... You receiving justice in this situation. <laughs> That's so crazy how that shit came out together. And actually, it's fair and just for you to be doing what you're doing too. Like, you not showing up as a phony, as a fake, as a fraud. You somebody that actually helps a lot of people. For, for this to come out with justice right behind it, right next to it, together, that means that what you do is justified. So you a true messenger. You're not even out here. You're not even a fake. You're not somebody out here just doing shit for clout, doing shit for views, likes. You're not out here doing shit just for money. You could be somebody that's very well off because of this, but God has put you in this position. You work for the divine. You work for source. You work for the light. I'm trying to figure out what these people think this is. Doing uh, curses, hexes, and, 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 and spells and shit like that on people. Who do you think that you work for doing that type of shit? That ain't nothing but the devil. God ain't ever going to tell you to take somebody out to cause them homelessness, to cause them sickness. God don't rock with that. God don't rock with that. Any ill that you wish on anybody, God not rocking with. But collective, whoever you are, you are a truth speaker. You a whistleblower. You a messenger. That's why they really could have been mad. Somebody here is jealous of your spirituality, jealous of your gifts. They feel like it's demonic because maybe they never believed that somebody could actually be psychic or have gifts. They never seen a real one. They 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 look at fortune tellers as people that are evil, wicked. They all fake. They're frauds. No, there's some people out here that's really gifted. There's some people out here that's really chosen, that really have a higher calling, a purpose, and anointing over their life. And they work for the divine. They get their messages straight from source. Somebody here, somebody here can't believe that. Because they ain't never meet a real a real one. They ain't never met a real one. And they so quick to pass judgment, they wouldn't know a real one from a fake because they they don't care to know. You know, people always act out when something scares them when they're ignorant. This is just pure ignorance. And these people being ignorant has they they ignorance has fucked around and got them cursed. These people have cursed them own self. They curse themselves because this shit has reversed. It didn't just not work and go away. No, it did not work, but it went back to them. These people are now praying now, asking for forgiveness. <laughs> Collective, whoever you are, it's fair and just for you to be doing what you're doing. These motherfuckers just going to have to get over it or go, go find something else to do. Get over it. Focus your attention on some other shit. Focus your attention on these backfires that's about to take place. Focus your attention on whoever done got sick. Focus your attention on planning motherfucking funerals. Like, that's what these motherfuckers really need to be focused on. It's a damn shame how these people done curse themselves worrying about what you do. The fuck out of here. Because God ain't, God ain't going to tell you to stop. You ain't stopping. This is just how the cookie crumble. This is just what it is. Motherfuckers just going to have to get over it. Just going to have to get over it, sweetheart. Because you ain't going to stop. Whoever you are, you ten toes down. You've been fully initiated. You initiate. You work for swords. Somebody here is mad that you're not mad. Somebody here is mad that you're not mad. <laughs> like you not mad is making these people mad. Somebody here feels offended and, and they 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 so angry about what it is that you do. 
some of these people that's having conflict now and fighting amongst each other could even be telling one of these people like, yo, why are you so mad? They could even be saying what I'm saying. Somebody here got to change your heart. Somebody in this situation got to change your heart. Like, yo, why are you so mad? This person not even bothering nobody. Yeah, mind your fucking business. <laughs> like, what? Nah. Motherfuckers should never be this nosy. This is crazy. Now somebody here having nightmares. That's what the fuck they get. Suffering, darkness, and persecution. Somebody here is actually having nightmares now. They don't pay to be judgmental. But I'm sure whoever these motherfuckers is that's passing judgment, some of these people don't have children out of wedlock. Some of these motherfuckers is um, cheating on their wives, their husbands. You know, they committing all types of sins. But, you know, they make an exception for the sins that they commit. But but you doing what you do for work and you doing A, B, C, and D, oh, that's that's a sin. You know, we can't we can't make an exception for that. We can make an exception for, you know, you know, we can make an exception for you, you know, sleeping or sleeping around or, or having children out of wedlock or cheating on your wife. We can make an exception for that. Yeah, yeah, no, Poppy, we make an exception for that. But no, the ones with the cards, no, no exception. Like, get the fuck out of here. These motherfuckers need Jesus. It's just, okay? That's what they really need. They they really need to get right with the Lord. Somebody here was ready to cause you to make you a memory. Like, somebody here was ready to send you to your maker, send you to the Lord. Now these people are lonely. Somebody here could actually be in the hospital. Mm-hmm. Somebody here is in the hospital, and they ain't going to get out. Somebody here going to have to stay overnight. Somebody here was trying to cause you some sort of disturbance. Now they feel like it's all in their imagination because you relaxed. Oh, well, shit. Shit. This is why it's good, right, to mind your business. I tell you, I tell people that all the time. It's so good to mind your business. I mean, I have never seen a situation where somebody here didn't mind their business and, and ended up like, okay. Like, nine times out of ten, you hear people, they not minding their business. They get fucked up. They get in the crossfires. They get killed. Bullet hit them. They got their ass whooped. They get karma. Like, it's just, it's so many things that happens when people don't mind their business. Like, if something's not directly affecting you, or if somebody, something is not actually harming others, yeah, mind your business, <laughs> period. <laughs> like... You know, this would be a lesson for these people. It's sad that, you know, you don't curse yourself with poverty and illness and death in order to learn a lesson. Like, that's a hard lesson. <laughs> like, you curse yourself with poverty, homelessness, illness, and death in order to learn a lesson? Ooh, talk about a hard head making a soft ass child. Yeah. Somebody here was ready to upstart this. They was like, we need a revolution. Somebody here was like, no, we got to get this motherfucker out of here. This motherfucker out here thinking they psychic. Collective, whoever you are, you, you really are. Fate and justice, you really are. And that's another reason why somebody mad. Because they, they study you so fucking much. And you done said some shit a couple of times before it done happened. And somebody here want to know how the fuck you be knowing what you know. That's another reason why somebody like, uh-uh, stop. This is the real deal. We, yeah, we never seen nothing like this. Not only are the curses and the black magic not working on this person, this person is actually able to, to tell the future, like for real. She said something and it happened next week. It happened a week later. It happened a few days later. She is actually really predicting shit. Maybe we should stop. Maybe this is somebody that's real. Fucking idiots. These people should be ashamed of themselves. Okay, yeah, whoever you are, you are somebody that makes a quick comeback, quick recovery. Yeah, Resurrection 44. Like, I'm telling you, collective, 3344. Some of you could be seeing 3344. You could be seeing angel number 333444. You very protected. And like I said, you work for source. You work for divine. You know what I'm saying? Yes, unfortunately, there are some fakes out there. We all know that there's some fake ass uh, readers, fake ass spiritualists out there. And they give people that's really about that a bad name. They do. They do. And then you have people out here that's very ignorant and they just feel like everybody a fraud, everybody a fake, everybody a phony. You know, call me now. Yeah, Miss Cleo, call me now. Like people really think that everybody a fake and a fraud because there's so many people out there, unfortunately, that are fakes, that are frauds. 
that give the real ones a bad name. You know, everybody likes to categorize everybody. When you're ignorant, you don't know, it's easy for you to categorize everybody as a fake, a phony, you know. But no, Collective, whoever you are, you the real deal, Holyfield. And somebody here knows that too. They can see that. They can see how your life is going. They can see based on the predictions and shit you make. Somebody here could be trying to like troll you and poke fun, but they know you the real one. They know you the real fucking deal. Trust me. They know you the real McCoy. They do. They really do. <laughs> that, that's why they scared. That's why they praying. This is why these motherfuckers are scared and praying. Because this shit is hitting them. And like I said, somebody here could have passed away already. Or somebody here feel like they on their way out. Somebody here having nightmares. Somebody here has anxiety. Somebody here is very sick. Like this shit got these motherfuckers like, hold on, wait a minute. You know, somebody here don't believe shit until it's stank. And it's fucking stanking right now. Oh, it's stanking right now. It's stanking bad. Yeah, because the natural world needs you, collective. Whoever you are, you work for the divine. The natural world needs you. Yes, because you're psychic. Listen, didn't I just say somebody here wanted to cause you nightmares? Look at the synchronicities. This card literally says nightmares. And so does this card. Nightmares. Whoever you are, you protected. You shielded from bad dreams. Period. Somebody here could be 40 years old, 44, 33, 45. Somebody here could be 54 that was attacking y'all. So these could be older people. Again, they ignorant, they stubborn, they set in their ways. They don't know shit. Whatever they know, they, they deem that's that, you know, that's correct. Their views, their beliefs, that's the only beliefs and, and views that's correct. Some motherfuckers is crazy. The natural world needs you. You somebody that's authentic, real, organic. Like I said, you the real deal. I just explained how you the real deal. And we literally got authentic, real, and organic right here. Collective, you somebody that the natural world needs. You know? Something that happened to these people way before it happened to you. These motherfuckers ain't making no real difference in the world. They they sinning, but making exceptions for their sins. But, you know, casting, you know, throwing stones at other people and, and passing judgment at other people. God don't fuck with that. He don't rock with that. He without sin cast the first stone. These motherfuckers casting stones and they done they, they got all types of sins. And then to top it off, you trying to cause poverty, homelessness, death, and illness and shit like that to somebody? What, what type of sin you think that is? Thou shalt not kill. The fuck? Go ahead and go ahead and pull up them ten commandments that y'all supposed to be following. Somebody here knows that you got psychic protection, you shielded from bad dreams because they've been trying to attack you in the dream state as well. So you got religious motherfuckers out here doing spell work on y'all. These motherfuckers play with Ouija boys. They play with black magic. You know, these are the type of motherfuckers that probably go to church on Sundays, but they got Ouija boards in their closet that they pull out on tarot readers. <laughs> like, this shit is crazy, y'all. Okay? Like, you got to laugh at this shit for real. Okay? I told you somebody here got personal evidence that you the real deal. All the same cards is coming out. Somebody here has personal evidence okay personal evidence that you are the real deal somebody here could have even sent somebody in to talk to you or maybe if you offer personal readings see that's why you gotta be mindful you can't read for everybody and i know that's why a lot of uh, good readers out there that, that do personals they actually have taken a break or they stopped doing personals because they had so many fucking ops so many karmics that was that was posing and, and, and getting readings trust me i know that's why I turn, I don't, I don't read for everybody. I will ignore you quick. Sometimes you won't even get a response from me because I done picked up on some shit. Or I just know right away, intuitively, I'm just like, no, mm -mm. I don't, all money ain't good money. It ain't about the money. I need to protect myself. I need to protect my energy. And I ain't getting karma reading for karmics and helping them out. Mm, nope, not going down. So like I said, I don't read for everybody. And you got some real good readers out here that used to do personals that have put their personals on pause or they completely decided to stop. And you can't fucking blame them. You can't blame them because it's bullshit like this going on. Somebody here, if you do personal readings collective, whoever you are that I'm speaking to, somebody here could have sent somebody towards y'all as well to do a personal. And they told this motherfucker, yo, they knew, they knew shit. They knew shit. Like they knew, like they knew shit about me for real. Like they was able to see a lot of things about me. No, they didn't ask me any questions. They just knew. Yeah. Yeah, she told me A, B, C, and D was gonna happen and it happened, you know. 
Like, even if you got, like, a public platform, Kalei says, these people watch you on your platform. And it's something that you said or something that you, yeah, something that you said that could have came to pass. You got these motherfuckers shook. They shook it. Okay? They got personal evidence that you got psych that you got psychic abilities. You the real deal. Okay? Death rights. Saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives. Yeah. I told you. Whoever you are, you got eternal youth. You vital. Vitality, energy, newness. You have eternal youth. And somebody here was preying on you, stalking you, invading your privacy, watching you. Somebody here could have been sending monitoring spirits towards you, tricks the spirits. Somebody here could be astral projecting to you. How are you going to be religious and you out here astral projecting to people, cursing and hexing them, trying to cause them nightmares, homelessness, poverty, sickness, but you religious though. But you ask your projecting to somebody invading their privacy and stalking them. <laughs> you you see how crazy this shit sound, right, Collective? But I promise you this is the message tonight. Okay? Now somebody feel like they got to say goodbye to stalking you. Somebody here feel like they being uh, outcast. They being banished out of your energy. Good. Now this person wants you to have compassion for them. I told you somebody out here praying, asking for forgiveness. It says empathy, sympathy, kindness. Somebody here wants you to be compassionate, so show them kindness, okay? Because somebody here is gravely ill. Somebody here is sick. Somebody here done fucked up. They spending their last day in the light. Her last day in the light. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. It's a surprise change in somebody's uh, situation as far as their stability, their foundation is concerned. Now somebody done cursed themselves with homelessness. There could be a sudden shift, a surprise change with somebody's job. Somebody here could be losing a job. Unexpected endings and surprise changes in somebody's life as far as their health is concerned. And then for some of you, somebody got a permanent ending here with this death card in the upright. Somebody here done spent their last day in the light fucking with y'all. Somebody here done got burnt by the sun. You are the light. Told you you work for the divine. You work for the light. Now somebody here wants you to show compassion, have kindness. The same compassion and kindness that they didn't have for you, they want you to show them. This is because somebody was jealous. I told you somebody here is a spiritual hater. They're a spirituality hater. And they're a hater because you, you gifted. They know you gifted. Whoever this is, they know you gifted. They could sit, they could sit here, you know, say all types of shit, troll you. And, and make whatever remarks they want to make. They know deep down in their heart and the people that was working with them also know that you the real deal. Motherfuckers is jealous. They jealous of your protection. They jealous of your ability to just heal and snap back from things. They jealous because whatever they send you, it don't really touch you. It just goes straight back to them. It don't even get up off the ground. Their vibration is much lower than yours. So it's like they don't even vibrate high enough to even attack somebody like y'all for real, for real. These people jealous. Somebody in this situation jealous. Okay, they jealous and they and they wanted to punish you. They was envying you, so they felt like you was you needed to be punished. This person is a walking contradiction. Now they feel like they made a mistake because they got a monster within. I'm telling you, you irritate somebody's monsters within. You irritate somebody's demons. Your light irritate they demons. And somebody here got addicted to your energy, which is why they was stalking you so goddamn much. Because you somebody that feels like ecstasy. It's something about your energy collective. You could be an earth angel. You Your energy feels like bliss. It feels like ecstasy to these motherfuckers. Okay? Now, who's really the sick one? This is sick. Collective, you working for the divine and being a messenger for spirit and helping people transform their lives and heal. Th that ain't nothing compared to this shit. That's a beautiful thing. God is proud of you. Your ancestors is proud of you. That's why you're so blessed. But God don't bless no mess. This is mess right here. Which is why these people are praying now and they scared. They scared. Like, come on now. You thought this shit was okay? This shit is crazy. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are lost their mind. Collective, whoever you are, you get to move forward freely. Period. Chariot. Like somebody here wanted you to feel binded, trapped, stuck, blocked, homeless, knee and donations, sick. Somebody here was trying to cause you an accident. Somebody here could have wanted you to get into a car accident is what I just heard. Some of y'all could actually be moving. Okay? We got the Ten of Cups here in the palace. You could be moving into your dream home, a big, beautiful, nice home is what I'm hearing. 
bigger and better. So whatever's going on, this could be even people in y'all community. This could be people uh, close to y'all as far as proximity and living. Yeah, in a living situation, this could be people in your community, your environment, close to you in proximity. Yeah, these people are close in proximity as far as your community, your living situation is concerned. So this could be like neighbors and shit like this or people that live around you in the community. Yeah. God keep blessing you with bigger and better. Yeah. You done turned your back on these people. You moving forward. And then for some of you, this your own family that was jealous of you. That was also involved in passing judgment towards you. And they the biggest sinners out there. Collective, whoever you are, you manifesting a new beginning. That's another reason why somebody jealous. They jealous of your ability to just manifest. Somebody here feel like you just manifesting shit. Shit just come out out of thin air for you. Like they never seen nothing like this. Like every time the collective say they gonna get something, they get it. Every time they say they gonna have something, they have it. Every time they say they gonna do something, they do it and it grows. Why is everything that they touch turn to gold? Why is it, why is it that they able to manifest in their life? That's that's witchcraft. <laughs> that's evil. They gotta be working with the devil. It's like, damn, you don't have no faith in God, do you? But you call yourself religious, but you giving the devil so much power. Because somebody's able to make something of their life and they're able to receive blessings, it gotta be from the devil. That's who you're giving credit to. It's the devil that somebody's able to get what they pray for. It's, it's the devil that somebody's able to manifest. It's the devil. So God ain't got no, God don't hold no way. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to God. Any blessings that somebody get, that they pray for. If, if somebody's praise is being answered, you ain't gonna give God no credit for that as the devil. They working with the devil? Okay. <laughs> like that's another reason why God side eyeing these people. Because you giving the devil way too much credit. Collective, whoever you are, you know that your blessings, your gifts, and everything that you have, everything that you own, everything that's coming towards you, you know that it's from the divine. You got the true connection with spirit, with source, with the divine, with God. You the one with the real connection. And you moving forward, period. And God going to make sure of it, chariot. He going to make sure of it. Like, he makes sure of everything that happens in your life. Because you obedient. Yeah, I told you, some of y'all could be moving. Or some of y'all could be starting a family. Yeah, look at this. The chariot to the ten of cups. You're going to be very happy. This shit is over. Some of you could be seeing angel number 1010. All right, yeah, this cycle has closed out, and there's a queen of cups in the reverse that's behind the scenes that's mad as hell. This is the person that could have just gathered people up, rallied people up. This bitch is the biggest fucking hater. She's a fucking loser. Somebody here could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Virgo. Somebody here could have strong water or Virgo in their chart. This person's just a fucking hater. Whoever this is, they the biggest fucking hater. They're the biggest hater. And they're mad because you out here chilling. You still winning. You still doing what you called to do. And ain't shit going to change about it. And somebody here could be a Gemini as well. They mad because something keeps getting returned to sender. It keeps getting blocked. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Something keeps getting blocked. Somebody here is also jealous of your, um, it's like your wealth, your abundance. Somebody here is jealous that you being seen as a healer. That you being seen as somebody that's a star. Somebody here is jealous of that. So some of y'all could be very popular for what it is that you do as well, which is why somebody was trying to spread rumors about you and act like you was doing something to them. I'm hearing that this, whoever this Queen of Cups and Verses, whoever this Virgo, this uh, Gemini, this water sign, whoever the fuck this hater is, this person could have been gossiping, spreading rumors, saying that you did something to them, that you you did some black magic on them, or you've been, you, you like this wicked person, you're a reader, you do black magic, you hurt them, you done fuck they, their life up, you toxic you work for the devil oh my god you know this person can't be trusted they did this to me my life is falling apart you guys got to be careful they doing it to everybody this person just attacks people whole time they the ones that's attacking people and they don't rally other people up to be on that dark and wicked shit right with their asses these people actually started working together with this person thinking that they was doing something good thinking that they was helping this person this bitch is gonna get the most karma out of everybody for for making up these lies Collective, somebody here is just jealous because you are a healer. 
you're someone that is um very wealthy as well there's like a lot of prosperity a lot of abundance attached to you abundance of all things that are good you are truly anointed cover and blessed this queen of cups in the reverse is jealous they wish they had this type of anointing this person wished that they was chosen they wish that they was one of god's favorite but look how you moving god knew not to choose your ass because you would be the you would be the motherfucker here walking around with the biggest head you would have the biggest head. You wouldn't be humble at all. God would have to knock you down a few notches. He would have to strip you. He would have to take away the same gifts that he blessed you with. He knew not to choose this person. This person would never be chosen. Their attitude is disgusting. This is somebody that already walks around thinking that they better than other people. And then they got the nerve to be jealous because they found out that somebody's really like they feel like somebody's really actually better than them. Like, that's what the issue is. This person's insecure because collective, whoever you are, they feel like you better than them. This person hate how you shine. They hate that people look up to you. They hate that you have the ability to manifest. They hate how abundant, how prosperous you are. They hate that opportunities and, and blessings just happen to attract to you, just happen to find you. This person hates this. They wish that they could have your power. They wish that they could walk in your light. They wish that people seen them the way that they see you. That's what this shit is really about. Whoever this Gemini, this Virgo, or this water sign is, because I'm telling you, for some of you, this is they person, this is that person's sign. They could be a water sign, a Gemini, or a Virgo, or they could have that in their chart. This person is just mad because they're not showing up in the world the way you are. This is somebody that compares every fucking thing that they do to what you do. This person could have even tried to do what you do, and they just ain't got it. They ain't got it. They not chosen to do this shit. They ain't the real deal. They, they don't have no psychic gifts for real, for real. They not deemed to be a, a messenger. They just not. This person could have even tried to do what you do. This person getting hella karma, like I said, will of fortune in reverse. This motherfucker, queen of cups in the reverse. Oh, shorty's under judgment. Yeah, somebody here's depressed right now. Somebody here's under judgment. Because you strong, you resilient, you powerful. Queen of Swords, the strength card. You could be um, a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Leo. You could have strong air or Leo in your chart. Okay? You could even be a Virgo as well. But you the true magician. You the true alchemist. And whoever this person is, they're a wannabe. They're a fraud. They're a fake. They're an empress in the reverse. This is the bitch behind the scenes that's jealous of your gifts, jealous of your light. This is pure jealousy from this empress in the reverse. Pure jealousy. This is why Carter Jealousy came out. This person been spreading rumors because they're jealous. Their jealousy has cursed themselves. They have cursed other people that have actually listened to them and, and, and participated in their bullshit. They got people behind the scenes praying. This motherfucker done accumulated so much karma for themselves and for other people. There's other people that actually work together with this person thinking that they was helping them, thinking that they was doing something good that are also cursed because of this person. This person need to be thinking they lucky stars that they still out here walking around moving because the type of backfires that people are getting for actually participating in the bullshit that they started based off lies. This person need to be happy that somebody ain't knocked that they asses clean the fuck out or take them the fuck out. You playing with people's lives right now. But at the end of the day, we all have free will. You know, these people decided to you know, participate in this shit. But I know a lot of people are probably actually really mad at this person. I, you know, why wouldn't you be mad? You done cursed yourself. You done hexed yourself listening to this motherfucker and all their all they lies. Somebody here could have really thought that they was helping this person. Like, oh my God, they cursed you. No, we got to do something about this. Collective, like, we ain't do shit to this person. This person just jealous of you. They just jealous. They just hate what you do for work. They hate your gifts. They hate your light. They wish that they were seen the way you they the way you seen. They wish that they were showing up in the world the way you show up in the world. This is somebody that's extremely insecure. They feel like they ain't special. That's what's really going on. They feel like you're special. They're not. You're special. I'm not. You have gifts. I don't. People look up to you. People don't look up to me. Like, are you fucking kidding me? How old is this bitch? Like, yo, go heal. This, this empress in the reverse needs to go hell. This bitch is constantly watching you, by the way. This is somebody that watches you 24-7, 365, 366 in a leap year. She could be a Sagittarius as well. 
She constantly watches y'all, constantly. And she's angry. You want to know why she angry? Because you still doing what you're supposed to be doing. Ain't shit changed in your life. Ain't shit going to change. And not only is not shit going to change, you happy as hell. Nine of Cubs. She pissed off. How dare you fucking be happy? Yeah, this bitch is a Sag. For some of y'all, it's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, a Virgo, um, a Gemini, a Taurus, a Sagittarius. Yeah, this is a karmic distorted feminine here. That's jealous. And they see how happy you are. Like, how dare you be happy? How dare I? Like, you, I did all of this. I gathered all these people. I talked all this shit about you. I spread all these rumors about you. And you mean to tell me you still happy? You still actually reading? People still actually fuck with you? I didn't change anything in your life? Nothing? All that shit I did. All these people I gathered up. I didn't change nothing. You still comfortable? You still happy? This person mad as hell because you the motherfucking truth. And this is the truth. Ace of Swords, confirmation. This person out here telling people y'all doing spell work when really they the ones that's doing it. High Priest is in the reverse. They ain't see how this shit was going to turn around. These people are actually talking about this person and how sick and twisted they are and how obsessed with you they were. Or they currently are because this person still watch y'all. People are actually talking about how obsessed this person is. This person is toxic as fuck. This person needs to go heal. This person could be a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, a, a Cancer, a Gemini. They could have that in a chart. A Virgo, a Taurus. Whoever this is, this is a distorted karmic feminine that done lost their damn mind, that, that wish that they had your gifts. They 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 mad because you being celebrated. Yeah, it's a Gemini for many of y'all. Gemini keep coming up. It could be a Gemini man. That was also involved here. Yeah. Th these people mad because you being celebrated right now. Like, what the fuck? You still celebrated? You still happy? You still independent? You ain't in poverty? You ain't sick? We motherfuckers, ain't nothing that we do hit you? You mean to tell me nothing worked? You in good health? You still working? You still doing good? You still helping people? People still fuck with you? You still showing up as a light being? Your light is irritating their demons even more at this point because they feel guilty now about what they did. And they know that you somebody that God actually holds in high honor. These people know that you have a purpose, you have an anointing, you have a calling on your life. You have a big anointing on your life, a big purpose, a big mission. They know this. They know this. They see it now. They didn't believe it before. Oh, they see that shit now. This is a hard lesson. This is a hard pill for this motherfucker to swallow. This person has gained so many enemies. Their own family is arguing with them and not fucking with them right now because they done, they done led everybody astray. They done put everybody in a very compromising uh, position. You know, they done, they done cursed their whole fucking family fucking around with you. They could have got their whole family with them working against you. This could even be somebody in your family. They could have turned the whole family against you because of some shit they were saying about you when this motherfucker just really jealous. This shit is crazy. This person is crazy. They feel like a fucking fool right now. They're embarrassed. Whoever this person is, they're embarrassed. They are. This is embarrassing. This is sad. They going out sad too. This person did bad and they going out sad due to their jealousy, child. I'm going to holler at y'all. This was the message. Peace.